How's it going pros? My name is Dark Slayer Gaming And welcome to Friday's with Dark Slayer Gaming Episode 66 For today's episode I'm going to share with you With you Bros about what happened last month and I can't believe what I really expected to happen this to happen this to happen this sorry if my English is really really bad at all I hope you appreciate it appreciate it while listening before I start this story make sure to like comment and subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more upcoming updates per weeks here on YouTube and also bros please be avoid making spam likings in my videos here on YouTube because why I'm using creator studio just to see my recent videos are getting likes or not getting spam after I refresh them in a few seconds minutes and or or hours pros if I were you if I were you as viewers I won't be making spam likings while watching and you have to watch it first before you liking my videos so that this won't be a spam likes here on YouTube if you play if you only like to spam then don't watch and unsubscribe to my channel if you only like to spam likes on YouTube spam likes are not welcome here in my channel sorry night sorry bros I hope you understand that point bros so don't spam likes please anyways let's dive into my stories bros last month last month bros I haven't upload my counter strike 2 official matchmaking for part 6 and why on July 24th Wednesday the typhoon came here in the Philippines especially in Manila got flooded and the uh, electricity went shut down and what time did happen at the time at 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning or midnight whatever that's when the flood starts and all of the houses are flooded by the typhoon Karina outside the house and like I said again the electricity went out if you are not sure with me bros I'll read the news but I just researched so that you'll comprehend hundreds of homes remains without power on Thursday at July 25th or July 25 a day after top typhoon Karina international name uh, Gaimi or Gimi whatever it pronounced flooded the Philippine capital Manila in nearby cities forcing authorities to shut schools and offices and cancel flights and declare a state of calamity in a region that is home to 13 million people to be honest bros as a provincial it's hard to pre prepare for the upcoming typhoon and start the flood and I thought that was a ordinary typhoon no and flood by the way it's similarity to typhoon Yolanda and that's our biggest nightmare biggest nightmare you heard me here in Philippines I was not even ready for the kind of storm storm typhoon Karina after I wake uh, after I wake up bros because I awake at 8 or 9 a.m. in the morning to see and captured what I see a flood coming from outside during heavy rains like I said again bros after sleeping for a few minutes I was like oh my god I didn't expect this to happen what I've seen the flood is rising up in stairs upstairs here I'll show you the photo and I give you a second see bros I didn't expect this kind of flood and bros I'll show you my previous capture clips 
that I recorded before that picture you already saw and you'll see at the end of the episode after after Typhoon Karina the plot was back to normal after six hours six hours you heard me that hours last week and the problem is the electricity went shut down until now and it's been almost three days since the elect since the electric went out after the flood was back to normal yes bros you heard it and it's so hot because no electric fans lights and any devices that can use especially cell phones during that time bros I've I've waited for hours to get back the electricity on electricity on you heard me bros and it didn't happen and what time did it happen during the electricity when shut down 3 p.m. in the afternoon during the flood outside like I was supposed to watch the news on TV and the electricity went off went off you heard me that's why it got almost three days no electric no electricity and after that at July 26 at the time at 10 p.m. at night the electric went on because I was in my parents room to sleep in and I hear some person reacts that the electric is turning back on to normal pros that's why I ran out to see if the lights went on and to restore my internet router after my dad and I were filling up the Meralco paper filling up the Meralco paper during the electric shutdown we fill up because the lady because the lady bros because the lady approached me outside my house just to fill up the electricity paper and I called my dad to fill this paper up to those who don't know to those who don't know the Manila Electric Company also known as Meral Meralcois or Meralcoy is either silent plateau or what and electric power distribution company in the Philippines it is Metro Manila's only electric power distributor and holds the power distribution franchise for 22 cities and 89 municipalities including the whole of Metro Manila and the exurbs exurbs that from Mega Manila the name Meralco Meralco is an acronym for Manila Electric Railroad and Light Company which was the company's official name until 1919 and now you all know bros that's why we fill up the paper for Meralco and that's the name and meaning of Meralco bros and thank god thank god thank god thank god bros it almost got 22 hours straight and almost three days just to wait after we fill up the paper that the lady gave us so that the Meralco will come here to report here in province like I said bros after filling up and waited four hours just to just to wait till it turns back on the electricity and you know what I just said earlier bro sorry for making you all quite confused lol and that's the story and my experience during Typhoon Karina and electric shutdown for days that's why I didn't upload my videos at July 26 at 10 p.m. at night that time bros after went on I hope you bros enjoyed this new episode and my previous episode that I just make a uh, sequel videos because of the electric shutdown make sure to like comment subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more upcoming updates per week here on YouTube and also bros please be avoid making spam likings in my videos here on YouTube because why I'm using creator studio just to see my recent videos are getting likes not getting spam after I refresh them in a few seconds minutes and or hours bros if I were you 
as uh, viewers just like I said from the beginning I won't be making spam likings while watching and you have to watch it first before liking my videos so that's this won't ha won't be a spam likes here on YouTube if you only like to spam then don't watch simple and unsubscribe if you like to spam likes on YouTube spam likers are not welcome just like I said earlier bros from the beginning here in my channel here in my channel sorry sorry not sorry bros I hope you understand that point what I'm saying bros so don't spam likes please back to what I have said my daily upload videos last July 26 at Friday that's why I extended my videos at August 2 right now and tomorrow bros at August 3 at midnight I will upload again for the last part of Counter Strike 2 for part 7 in official matchmaking and don't miss out again bros and also bros like I said I'll leave that videos at the end of the screen to watch my previous episode that I lately uploaded here on YouTube bros and part 6 of Counter Strike 2 CS2 official matchmaking so yeah so yeah that's it bros and that's all for the day and I almost forgot it's August right it's August right now bros and quick announcement for YouTube and Facebook that I will make content at League of Legends all League of Legends content on YouTube and Facebook page and I will make it to four videos this month singles to Facebook until August 5 13 29 20, I mean 21 and 29 August 5 13 21 and 29 bros so yun all League of Legends content on my channel and Facebook page as well that's all bros and stay awesome